Hello to everybody out there in Periscope land. This is Brother Ed, and we are on our part two of the fear of the Lord. And we're going to continue on with this. We had covered some attributes of God that God does not know everything. And we cover certain grounds on this topic just to reinforce our uh, our thought and idea of this fear of the Lord being fully understood. And so as I was laying the groundwork, um, was it trying to be rude to anybody? Was it trying to, uh, you know, provoke anybody to wrath? Yeah, it is, Alan. It really is. It's hard to deal with certain folks because you want them to understand. And yet um, there is an element of where people think you're just talking down to them. And that's always there. And, and it's to be expected. But uh, I, I think if somebody is beyond correction, they're just they're just full of pride. And um, I, I get corrected all the time. And um, I thank the people that correct me for um, the things that I have wrong in the Bible. And the, the, the point being, we should all strive to learn the Word of God um, the best we can. And Oh, yeah, right. The app itself, yeah, it just cuts off, you know, and I, I'm trying to time these out to 30 minutes apiece, which, I'm, again, I always fail miserably on that. But, um, okay, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with this. Um, um, the guy that, that talked with me last was... Uh, had had some good comments. I mean, he 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 was applying himself into understanding the scriptures better, which uh, it it kind of turned out to be a little bit sour, because um, you know he thought I was talking down to him, and and I I guess sometimes I I have that effect on people where people think I'm talking down to him, and I I don't mean to. Um, I sound arrogant to people. I sound you know condescending to people, and I don't mean to, but. Guys, when, when you study the Bible and you're trying to teach, the Bible tells us to be bold. And sometimes that can come across as being condescending. That can come across as being aggressive, okay? Right, Alan. And, and they do. And, and when I do it, guys, my heart is in this thing. My heart is in this. People think it's not in this thing, but my heart is in this thing. And I want people to be corrected, not because I'm so right, but because God is so right. And, and not because Brother Ed is just, you know, king of the world and he's just talking down to people. He knows better than everybody else. No, guys, um, I'm trying to submit myself to the word of God and I get corrected. I'll probably get corrected more than you guys ever will. <laughs> I mean, I, I always get corrected on things, guys. But my attitude isn't, OK, so you think you're better than me? Oh, oh, so so. OK, so so it's all about you. No, guys, I sit there. And I'm like. Praise God. You know, thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you for, for sharing that with me. Maybe my view might not line up with that, but I'm going to go home. I'm going to study that out, man. You know? Amen, Alan. Amen. So so that's, uh, hopefully, you know, uh, my, my spirit is good about this. That, 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 yeah, the eyebrows go down and my spirit is good. I, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to get you the, the Bible verses you need so you can look at the verses and then make an objective decision yourself and say, wait a minute. Okay, I want to look at these and see if it really says that. Okay, now Paul, a amen, your, 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 your apology is accepted. And I hope that there's no hard feelings on the way I was talking to you. Because sometimes people think that I talk down to people. And I, I'm, I wasn't trying to, to talk down to you, okay? Uh, I apologize if you thought I did, okay? Um, I know I can sound that way, okay? And I apologize if you think I did. OK, so um, again, I hope we can we can move on. I hope you, you can stay on the scope and just just just, you know, uh, labor in the word of the Lord with us. Amen. Um, so, guys, um, we're going to keep we're going to keep moving. Um, what I have here is another thought. Um, this one is dealing with Hebrews chapter one, verse three. Um, it's God upholds all things by the word of his power, the world, nature, chance and free will. He allows these things to take precedence and tests the human man if he would seek him as he, that's God, seeks us. He lets, these, he lets this thing go to see what man would do. Now, um, again, Hebrews 1, 3, we'll flip the screen here. Who being the, uh, the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. So all things are upheld by the word of his power. 
You see that? Everything is. So, yes, everything that's out there that's created is upheld by God. We know that. That's, that's what the Bible says. But then we have this thing in James chapter 3, verse 6. Now, now you guys read this. Um, and the tongue is a fire. A world of iniquity, so is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire, you ready, the course of nature. See, there's a course of nature. It setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. So what are we learning here? There's, there's a course of nature, and it's within our members to do this course of nature. You see that? Now, I want, I'll show you another verse here. Show you another verse. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. Now, now let's get some context. And you had the quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. So, at one time, we were dead in trespasses and sins. And what did God do? He quickened us. He made us alive, right? Wherein in time past, he walked according to the course of this world. Now, how did I walk, guys? How did you walk? According to the what? the course of this world. Didn't we just talk about the course of nature? Now we have the course of this world. You see that? So there's a course of nature and there's a course of this world that God just lets this thing run its free course. It's, it's just ran on its course. And God has no part in that. He just lets it run. That's why things do happen by chance. That's why a saved person that's living for Jesus Christ, that made an impact on the kingdom of God, can go right across the street, get hit by a car, and die instantly. Because things happen by chance. And God lets the course of this world run, the, the course of nature run, and it's going to take its course. Now, what does God tell us to do? That we ought to be faithful in all things. Whether the course, on this course, whether by chance something bad happens to us, he's going to give us, according to uh, Hebrews chapter 4 and 5, he's going to give us grace to go through that time of need. He didn't say he was going to heal us and this and that, but give us grace to go through these things. And that's why uh, Romans 5, we glory in tribulations also, knowing that what? Tribulation. What are tribulations? That could be anything to sicknesses. That could be anything to... Uh, uh, you know, you get hit by a car and you're paralyzed for the rest of your life. Um, I mean, name it, name it, cancer. We glory, listen to this, this is hard. This is hard, this is hard to swallow, hard pill to swallow. We glory in tribulations also. How can you glory in that? But the Bible says, because we have peace with God, Romans chapter five, verse one, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God. Because I have peace with God, I can glory in tribulations also. But if you're not saved today, you have no peace with God, and there would be no reason for you to glory in tribulations. You, you wouldn't glory. But because you have peace with God, you can now glory in tribulations also. Why? Because tribulations worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts, by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Notice that he didn't say, by the Holy Ghost, which will heal us. We are, we are given grace to go through tribulations and trials and sicknesses and, 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 and all these things that could, that, that could hurt us or have hurt us. He's given us these things so that when the course of the, as I'm going down the course of this world that God is not controlling, he's letting the course go. That's why the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. God is letting that course go. And what he's saying to you is, I've, I've implanted within every human being the truth of me. I've given you an internal GPS that you can choose to yield to. And then what else did I, what else did I do? I gave you, I, I've given you the evidences all around you. All the evidences of creation. The heavens declare the glory of God. I've given you all of this. And you have no excuse. And yet, I will, I, will, I will release my hands. And I will let the course of this world go. So when a hurricane hits, hits New Orleans, that's not the judgment of God. It's the course of this world. 
It's not God judging the sinners that were in New Orleans. When the, when the, when the Orlando shooter started shooting, Yes, Nepal, he does interfere in the course. Very, very good question. Very good question. And I, I, I like questions like that that pertain to the topic. It's really good, guys. Really good. And I'm glad you, 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 you even mentioned that because that's when God comes into the course of this world and he answers prayer. Like somebody getting prayed to get healed. And somebody comes up with a miraculous healing. That's, that's God. Right. And so other things like somebody gets hit by a by a vehicle and walks away scotch free, you know, and, and, and somebody that maybe called on the Lord doing that, you know, and and, and there's, there's other things that are dealing with that don't even deal with God that are miraculous that happened. Now, how do you explain those things? Miraculous things happen. And you've got to leave room for the course of this world. Things do happen by chance. People do what we call by chance get away scotch-free on certain things, whether it's hit by a car or, or, or falling from an airplane with a parachute, the, air, the parachute gives out, and then they, they free fall to the ground and survive with no bones broken. I mean, God never believed in God in his life. Stuff like that happens. You've got to leave room for the course of this world. The, see, but here's the thing, guys. When you're dealing with the course of this world, this, this is where people get really confused, and I was confused myself on this issue. And the course of this world, when we look at everything good, we give glory to God. When, when, a, when an unbeliever looks at everything good, he's like, well, it's all about me. It's all about my, good, my goodness and this and that. So even though God has given even the unbeliever goodness, he doesn't respond to God the way the believer responds to God. Okay? I'll give you an example. Two people are in a hospital, right? Two people are in a hospital. One gets healed. No, I'm sorry. Both, both people get healed. Miraculous healing. One is a believer. He thanks God. The other one just says, well, luck, luck does happen. Okay, what would be the difference? Well, you had the believer that was praying to God, and when he got healed, who did he give glory to? He gave glory to God who heals. Now, who did, who did the, you still, st right, right, Nepal, and that's kind of, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much what they, what they do. They, they just give God all this control in which they don't, they don't, it really makes God a sinner because God is controlling every movement. So, so say you fell on a brick and cracked your head open. You'd pretty much have to say that was the will of God. God willed that to happen to me. <laughs> we know that God doesn't will bad things to happen to people. Okay. And that's why, yeah, that's what they do. They give God all that control and which it almost, it will, I don't say almost, but it does turn God into a sinner and which, you know, rightly dividing the scriptures and we look at the course of this world and the course of nature that God just releases this thing and lets that course go and then he inter he intervenes at times in the course yeah right right Nepal yeah that, that's what they that's what they do and uh, yeah they say well well yeah he allowed that to happen or he was in control of that to and or he wanted this to happen to you because it was going to help you in some kind of a way. I, I think, look guys, I think there are things of why people suffer that God does it so it'll make you a better Christian. And I think God allows lost people to, to, to do certain suffering so they would think about getting saved. But I also think that there are things that lost people and saved people go through that got nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> it's just the course of this world. So guys, and that's where spiritual discernment is going to come in of you knowing your Bible. And so it, it, it's really hard to say, is it Satan tempting me? Is it Satan trying to put hurt on me? Is it God trying to improve me? Is it, it, it's hard to say, guys. Right, right, Nepal. It, it's, it's hard to even be 100% sure of, of why these things happen. And so only thing we can trust in is that as we keep our eyes focused on Jesus, 
So you keep looking, if you keep looking to Jesus in everything you go through, that would be the best place you could be. And that's where God wants us. He wants us no matter what it is. Amen. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm at 15 minutes and I'm out of sync already. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the Periscope. And, and again, we're still on track, guys. We're, we're, we're right on track with the fear of the Lord. And um, um, we, we need to cover these things so we have a fuller understanding of, of God. And then we're going we're gonna to flip right in there with the fear of the Lord. Okay, so um, give me a chance. I'm going to go ahead and start a scope. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys catch the next scope. I still have maybe a, a little bit less than 45 minutes till the till my uh, Thursday service starts. Okay, so I got a little bit of time left. Okay, thank you guys for joining me.